How's it going guys? Welcome back for some more Terraria here on Nicely Done. I'm Drew Nicely, and for today's episode, we are going to be heading to the jungle to craft up, uh, I can't remember what the sword is. And then, after we craft up that sword from the jungle, I think we just need, um, some stingers. That's what we need, stingers. Well, then we get to make the Knight's Edge, <laughs> not the Terror Blade. So I kept saying last episode, the Terror Blade. Um, I was thinking Knight's Edge the entire time. <laughs> Freaking, if I get stuck on a word, you get stuck on a word. So, that said, we have pretty much all the ingredients to make two. Um, if we make like another Fiery Greatsword, we can make two Knight's Edges. Which, I don't, I don't know why we would. Maybe for a trophy later. Um, but also while we're running, did you ever notice that the, um, the molten helmet blinks while you walk? It's kind of interesting. I never noticed that before. Um, but we got the crimson effect going because we got some damage. So we're getting some regen. So we're going to be heading over to the jungle. And while we're investigating the jungle, let's hope we can find... Well, we might be able to find the, uh, the Goblin Tinker over there. Um, I think we should actually go put some stuff away real quick. I hate doing this at the beginning of every episode. So, I will catch you guys in here in a second. Alrighty, we're back and heading towards the jungle. I think we have to cross the snowy biome first. Um, or it might be right on the other side of this crimson biome. Our inventory is nice and clean. So we can head over there with no issues. And gather up all the goodies. Oh no! Uh, we have arrived at the jungle. There's a bunch of iron here, that's good. Oh, no, it's rock. That's just stone. <clears throat> cool beans. So, in the jungle, you should probably be wearing those water walking boots. Um, but let's find our way down. Do, do, do. Is there anything that leads downwards? <laughs> Other than that little cave back there. There's got to be more caves. There we go. This is the biggest cave entrance. Really? That's what you get with the normal world, I guess. <laughs> so let's clear out all these vines so that if the Goblin Tinker can spawn, he has a place to spawn. <clears throat> I believe he spawns like within a certain range of your character. Um, so, if that happens, we just gotta keep an eye out. What's up, Jungle Bat? We also gotta keep heading deeper. This looks like something. That's probably just a flower. Flowers. Do, do, do. Trying to decide what gives off more light. Probably the fiery greatsword. Probably torches. <laughs> hey, goblin. <laughs> goblin statue. Close. I think last time we found the goblin tinker in the jungle as well. Let's pick up this goblin statue. Coolio. <clears throat> Got some mahogany. Not running into anything yet so far. It's probably because everything is blocked by vines. Doo doo doo. Here we go. Getting deep. We need to get a couple of things. What's up here? I'm surprised I actually fit through that. 
Uh, anyway, man eater. Um, <laughs> I actually think we need to kill a few of those too, or not man eater specifically. Um, oh, I'm poisoned. And mining mud takes forever with the molten pickaxe. Um, got another stinger. I think we need like 20 something stingers um, to make the, the blade, the blade that we need. Uh, my phone's glitching. <laughs> I think you could tell, like, I picked up my hands. Hey, look! Honeybee storage. <clears throat> let's carve in here, see what we can find. Oh, there's a queen bee thing, so let's fight the queen bee. See what kind of loot we can get from this. And then search around for some more stingers. The queen bee is. Oh, snap. I didn't even touch it. Oh, well. All right, queen, you're about to get destroyed in the face. Which one does more damage? Fire greatsword does more damage. Uh, I put the fire flower away, uh, but we can pull one of these up and use the enchanted great so or the enchanted sword. Quit being a pansy, Queen Bee. Switch back over. Great sword. Smash. In no time. <laughs> and it does the on fire buff. Or debuff. Nice. Queen Bee has been defeated. We got the bee gun. The bee gun is awesome. This doesn't uh, cost any ammo. We got bee nades. It's a magical firearm. This thing's awesome. And the bees bounce around and hone in on people. It's awesome. Pretty freaking. There's another flipper right here. How interesting is that? Um, one thing we could be doing is using. Uh, what is it? Uh, a hunter potion? That way the the goblin tinker will kind of glow that greenish color that they usually glow. Hey, another queen bee. We can fight two of them. <laughs> um, but we'll save that for another time. What I really want is more stingers. Ancient cobalt leggings? Increases maximum mana. Huh. Increased magic crit chance. I've never gotten those before. That's interesting. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments if you've gotten those before. Um, we're walking on honey. It's making us really slow. What I really need to do, Opuni? Who is Opuni? I don't know who that is. Is that the Goblin Tinker? No? Because that's the Goblin Tinker. Ah ha ha ha, we found him. Yes. 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 <laughs> Rocket boots. I can just buy that right off. Yes. <laughs> I should have saved my money for the to workshop. Um, here, I'll sell you these. No value. You don't want them. Sell you these. <coughs> sell you these. 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 And this. Uh, I'm gonna need those jungle seeds. Um, it's a pretty decent potion, actually. Let's see here. We don't have anything else to sell, but we found him. Zarks. Zarks. Or er, Sarks. 
uh, yeah, Sarks. Sarks the Goblin Tinkerer. <laughs> so let's dive deeper. We need some jungle spores. That's also what we need for the, hey, <laughs> one of those, uh, one of those shrine majigs. We got another extract meter. I'll come back for that later. There's, where's Waldo Shrine? <laughs> Dope. Found Waldo. It's good. The iridescent shrines, that's what they're called. Um, pearlwood lamps. Oh, that's just pearlwood? Interesting. Let's get rid of these bombs. We don't need these. We don't need the slime. And we don't need an archery potion. Or glow sticks. What we really need is these jet boots on instead of the double jump. Yeah, rocket boots. <laughs> awesome, now we can really fly. I think fiberglass fishing rod, no way. That's down. It's lime green, too. Take everything. <laughs> um, I think the flying carpet Oh, no, we'll see if it, it affects anything. So let's look around for some more jungle spores. Some more stingers. Kill more man-eaters. There's a bunch of hearts in here. And we're going to have to come back here a few more times. Annoying staff of regrowth. Creates grass and moss on dirt. Oh, for sure. Interesting. We got the honey dispenser, awesome. I'm gonna put the mud in here so it'll be safe. Um, <clears throat> let's just put a bunch of other stuff in there. Where are my stingers? Okay, I did pick up the stingers, cool. I'm just gonna put the bombs in here. I don't need those. I want this, I want this. Smelunker potion, why not? Um, meow. <laughs> we could fly for a long time now with both the jetpack or the jet boots and the flying carpet. Um, not seeing any more wasps. Three stingers ain't gonna cut it. There's more jungle spores. <gasps> need to mine over there to get those. Now, does this thing mine slow because it's a slow speed? Oh, it's fast speed even. Why is it taking forever to mine hellstone or mine mud? It's kind of weird. So we got more jungle spores, dragon hornets, good, good, good. Get them bees. Got another stinger. Good. I'm getting deeper and deeper into the jungle. Sorry, it's kind of an awkward dark episode. I'll try to brighten it up a bit in the posts. How many things do I need for... Don't freeze, come on. The, the jungle sword. Here we go. 12 jungle spores and 15 stingers for the blade of grass, that's what it's called. Um, right now we have seven and four. So we're gonna be here for a minute. So, let's see, hey. I see you. Come here. Dope. I think one of the first things I'm going to make with the Goblin Tinker, or with the Tinker Table, is the Lightning Boots. Uh, we'll do all that next, next episode. But we're probably going to make the Lightning Boots, and then make... Um, 
the waiting or the lava waiters. And then do a few other things. There's a bunch of stuff we can use the Goblin Tinker for. <laughs> um, we could add prefixes to our own items that we have already. That would be good. What am I getting it hurt by? I'm taking damage. Oh, I'm still poisoned. I was poisoned for a long time. Oh, it's the Dragon Hornets. They do poison damage too. I'm gonna die before I can kill it. Oh, I got the stinger. Yeah. Oh, and then a jungle spike got me. <laughs> well. Let's see. I think the video's at about 14 minutes. What do we got so far? Whoops. Um, yeah, so I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to wait until next episode. Um, so we'll tinker up a bunch of objects. Let's actually make sure that the tinkerer has a place to move in. What's up, Sheena? Um, hmm. Is there... Space available over here. Yeah, the tinker moved in up here. That's dope. Oh, the uh, the witch doctor <clears throat> wants to move in. What's up, witch doctor? How you doing? The imbuing station. We can craft imbuing flasks. That's definitely necessary. Um, we'll get him moved in. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we defeated the Queen Bee. Uh, we got the Goblin Tinker. We got some Jet Boots. Um, let's actually go buy the Tinker Table. Dun -dun 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 -dun. It looks like I'm wearing gloves. That's funny. What's up? Oh, the Tinker is not even here yet because he hasn't spawned. We have to wait a full day cycle till he arrives. That's fine. In any case, <laughs> we found him anyway. Um, and the witch doctor wants to move in too. That's cool. Uh, we got the bee gun. We got a bee t-shirt. The bees knees. We got the bee nades. We got bees wax. We got bottled honey. Um, we got, we're about halfway to getting the blade of grass, which is the final item that we need to craft the Knight's Edge. And then once we get to hard mode, we can craft the true Knight's Edge and the um, the Whatchahoosits. What what Whatchahoosits? Uh, we can craft the, the, the true Excalibur. So we got to craft Excalibur and true Excalibur. Um, there's a bunch of stuff we got to do still. <laughs> But yeah, next episode we're going to be getting the blade of grass so we can craft up the Knight's Edge and then we will have a dope weapon. And then we're going to continue investigating the jungle, get more jungle spores, and do other fun stuffs. Probably start preparations for hard mode. Um, Keep going down in hell and exploring all that. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. If you like this episode and you like what we found, hit that like button. It would help me out and help my channel grow. Um, and yeah, let me know if I'm doing well in the comments. I know you guys love giving me tips and tricks in the comments. It's dope. I love it. It helps. What? <laughs> Did I really just get the slime staff? Yeah, I did. We got the slime step. Just walking around. Dope. So, me and Baby Slime. Sorry, he's killing something. <laughs> Gonna say bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button for 
the baby slime <laughs> that loves to kill things. Um, and yeah, talk to me down in the comments. Love having conversations. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you can get post notifications for when my videos go live.